95% of people get this very simple physics question completely wrong. So I have a broomstick perfectly balanced on my finger. One side has the broom head and a little bit of stick and the other side has the rest of the stick. And I'll bring it into frame just so you can see I'm not cheating here. And so that's perfectly balanced right on my finger at the fulcrum. I'm gonna saw it in half so I have two parts and I'm gonna weigh each part the broom head and the broomstick on this side. My question to you is, which side is gonna weigh more? Is it A, the stick side, B, the head side, or C, are they gonna weigh the same amount? Okay, so I made a little mark right here on the broomstick to show where that fulcrum is. And now I'm gonna use this saw to cut it in half and let's weigh each side and see what the correct answer is. So first, the cut. <laughs> And there we have it. So there's that one side with the broom head and here's the other side that's all stick. And now for the moment of truth. Okay, let's start with the broom head first. Here we go. And now this one weighs in at a whopping 907 grams. Wow. Okay, next up we have the broom stick. Get it right in the center. 295 grams. So the other one was 900 and something grams and this one's only 295. So there's a huge difference. This one was almost three times the mass of the other one. So if you guess they were equal, like most people, you were wrong. Let's find out why. So why do so many people get this broomstick problem incorrect? It's because they incorrectly assume that the weight on each side of my finger has to be equal in order for that to be balanced. But it's not the weights that have to be equal, it's the torques. So in physics, think of torque as a rotational force, right? And so the weight of this broom head is gonna cause some kind of rotational force around the fulcrum, and the weight of this stick over here is gonna cause another torque or rotational force. And so in physics, torque is force times distance, which means there's a force, which in this case is the weight, multiplied by the distance away from the fulcrum. Well, what do we notice? Well, the broom head has most of its weight concentrated out towards the end because that's where most of the weight is. And so you can model that as a force here. And the broom handle has an equal weight all throughout. So you can model that as one force directly in the center. But what do you notice about the distance? Well, the distance from the fulcrum to this force due to the broomstick is much greater than the distance of the broom head's force away from the fulcrum. And because this distance is smaller, you need a much bigger force or a bigger weight in order to balance out the torque caused by this greater distance and a smaller force. 